Hey guys, this is Chris, uh, and we're at part two of the uh, um, output module uh, tutorial for Vixen 3. Um, now that we've got the basics behind us and we have kind of a description of, of what a module is, uh, what I want to do in, in this part um, is just set up our workspace. Um, I assume by that this point you have uh, Vixen downloaded you have uh, .NET 4.0 installed and you also have uh, uh, Visual C Sharp Express installed um, so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna just we're gonna create a new project um, and this will be uh, our entire uh, module will be within this project um, what we want to do is each project or each I'm sorry each module is um, it's contained within a DLL file so that's a class library so we're gonna se select class library as a type of project we're doing um, and I'm just gonna name this uh, output module apparently I can't type tonight tutorial and click OK. Now that's going to create our um, our project. A um, couple things you we want to do just to uh, set everything up. Uh, for some reason, it's saying that I can't uh, find link. We'll take a look at that in a second. A um, couple things I like to do right away. Um, first thing we're going to do is. Remember in the modules, I said there uh, there are three parts. Uh, two are mandatory. One is um, you can you can use it if you need it. Um, we're going to use all three parts, um, and we're going to start with the descriptor. So I'm just going to go ahead right away. This initial class that was made, um, I'm going to rename that, and we're going to call it. Uh, descriptor now the reason I did this is is just because it's going to ask you if you want to rename everything um, that was class one to descriptor select yes and it's going to rename everything um, yeah the reason uh, I like to do that is I just like to get things set up uh, get the project saved and then uh, move on from there so um, a couple things we want to do uh, first thing we need to do is in the project <clears throat> go to the properties under project properties we need to make sure the target framework is dotnet 4.4 4. Um, it doesn't say 4.0 okay um, that's the first thing we want to check. Once that's set up, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and just save the project. Click Save All. It's going to ask, okay, where do you want to save it? Um, that's good enough for me. The default location is fine with me. Okay, next thing I'd like to do is if you go into the build properties here, when we build it, it's going to actually make the DLL file. Um, I think it's really nice instead of uh, by default it'll put it underneath the project um, folders um, and then you would have to go and you would have to copy it to your Vixen um, folder and that's just I'm too lazy to go doing that every time so what I like to do is I like to browse for wherever you have uh, Vixen stored uh, which for me I just put it on the desktop here so browse to that folder um, and browse we're, we're making mo uh, making a module so we want it to go and when we actually build the project we want it to go into the module output um, folder um, that's because we are making an output uh, module if we were making an input module you want to put it in the input folder uh, that's pretty simple there so click OK and um, we'll go ahead you'll see an asterisk here that means you have to save it so go ahead and save it and that's really most of <clears throat> most of the work we need to do in here now the next step 
is we need to set up our references to uh, Vixen. Right now, our project knows nothing about Vixen, so it can't use any anything in Vixen. So just go over to References over here on the right. Uh, Right-click it and add reference. Um, go ahead and click Browse and browse to wherever you have your Vixen folder. Okay, if it seems a little jerky, I'm pausing it. I'm on an extremely old computer right now, uh, so I keep pausing it to uh, not make you sit around and watch my computer come up. We have it under Vixen Tutorial. Vixen.dll is the reference we're looking for. So just click on that, uh, click OK, and you will see in a second, uh, Vixen will show up in our reference list. Okay, now another thing I'd like to do uh, right off the bat, right now if we build the file, uh, it would create in our module output folder, it would create... Um, our uh, output module tutorial DLL and it will also copy over a copy of vixen.dll which we don't need under that folder um, so what I like to do is right under here copy lo local by default it's set to true if we set that to false it's not now it's not going to copy over that extra uh, vixen.dll folder or file into that folder um, we don't like I said we don't need it there so uh, why copy it go ahead and click save <clears throat> okay and now we need just need to add our namespaces for vixen uh, what these are for is um, instead of having to type vixen dot and then whatever command you want vixen or vixen dot module dot um, you, you can save yourself a lot of typing by by just uh, uh, declaring these these namespaces so some of the typical ones you're going to be using um, when making modules is uh, you're going to be using the vixen namespace flat out um, we are going to be using since we are making a module uh, we will be using the uh, vixen dot module space and then we are also going to be using the vixen dot module dot output namespace. Um, another one that's typically uh, going to be used is the um, using vixen dot sys. Um, now there there will be others, and we'll go through them and and get them when we uh, when we get to that point. Um, so go ahead and click save um, and then I want to show you one more neat thing um, something to help you like for example I don't remember all the all the details of, of what classes and everything we have to to use I'm gonna close out of this um, and one way you can you can figure some of this stuff out is if you go over here um, the third one over at least on my computer it's called object browser now if you click on that it will go to the object browser in here <clears throat> now you will notice these are basically all of our references that are over here so we can expand vixen and we can actually see what we can use in there now like I said we are using a vixen module output uh, we are making an output module so if you look into vixen module output which is a lot of what we are going to be using you will see in here uh, these are the base classes we will be using um, if you forget the exact name of them you can just go into the object browser and take a look um, another thing this really helps you with for example say you want to make an app module um, you've gone through these tutorials, but you really don't want to make a, an output module. You can actually look into the app module and you will see these base classes. These are what you are going to want to inherit from. So even though this is a very basic um, output module we will be making, um, you should be able to kind of extend anything you see here um, into uh, whatever you want to make. 
So um, I think that's it for this part. In the next part, we are actually going to make our descriptor, or at least start making our descriptor. Okay, see you soon.